So now that you're familiar with all the types of ad budget or the key metrics of Amazon PPC campaigns, we are going to be moving towards step-by-step -step guide of how you can determine your optimal ad budget. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Ria Mittal and welcome back to another informative video. As you know, Amazon is now the center of attention for all your customers and now sellers are fighting for visibility and Amazon has a wonderful tool that can help you with that visibility and that is pay-per-click advertising. However, pay-per-click advertising can get expensive if not done properly and in this video we are going to cover just that. We're going to be talking about how you can budget your ad, how you can determine your ad budget and the options that are available for you in terms of budgeting. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, let's go over some key budgeting options that sellers have out there and I'm not going to be going in depth with this since most of the sellers already know what options are available and want to jump right onto determining your ad budget. However, if you are a beginner seller, don't worry, we have not forgotten about you. Go to the description box below and there is a PDF that covers all the options available for you sellers out there and we have explained each of the options in depth. So make sure you go to the description box below and download the PDF. So you have two types. The first one is fixed daily budget and the second one is average daily budget. So let's start with fixed daily budget. Fixed daily budget essentially puts a cap on how much you can spend on advertising daily for your sponsored product account. And average daily budget is the maximum daily budget you're willing to spend for each campaign. It is compulsory to set an average daily budget for each ad campaign you create on Amazon. So we have explained more about these budgets in the description box below. Make sure that you download the PDF to learn more. And now I am going to be jumping on to how you can determine your ad budget. So now that you're familiar with all the types of ad budget or the key metrics of Amazon PPC campaigns, we are going to be moving towards step-by-step -step guide of how you can determine your optimal ad budget. So let's get started. So before we move forward, here's a quick reminder to subscribe to our YouTube channel to join our ever-growing Celera family. Do not forget to interact with our content so we know that you're enjoying the content that we're putting out so far. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. So let's move on now. So step one is identifying your ideal ACoS. ACoS stands for Advertising Cost of Sales. So before you even think about creating PPC campaigns for your products, you need to identify how much you can spend on advertising and this amount should not cut into your profits. So make sure you have an ideal calculation done beforehand to make sure that the ideal number that you have for your ACoS is not eating your profit margins. So I have an example which is going to help you understand this concept better. So let's look into that. So let's consider this hypothetical situation. Try to imagine that you're selling true wireless stereo on Amazon and these are your product costs. First is the selling price of $100. Second comes the cost of purchase which is $47, third is Amazon FBA fees which is $10 and fourth are your other expenses which are $3. So in this case, your profit margin will be around $40. The profit is after considering your total cost of goods so you're earning about $40 Per, per sale of your one product. So in order for you to remain profitable, your advertising cost or your A cost should be less than your profits. So your advertising cost should be less than 40%. So if you bid on the keyword which are costing you less than 40% of your profit margins, you are in the green line. That means you will be earning enough profit um, by the each sale you make. However, if your, pro if your keywords are costing you more than 40% of your profit margins, that means you will be in negative and you will not be making enough profit on Amazon. So this is really important before you create your PPC campaigns, make sure that you audit your products and list down each cost associated with it and understand your profit margins better and then come up with an ideal A cost for your product. So step two is plan the duration of your campaign. Once you've identified your ideal A cost, you need to understand uh, how long should your campaign be running for because this is how you budget your campaign as well. Is it going to be running for one week? Is it going to be running for months? Because the longer it runs, the more expensive it's going to get for you. So if you're planning to run your PPC campaigns for let's say 30 days, you need to have that 30 day budget set aside for your product beforehand or for that campaign beforehand. Otherwise, you are going to be stopping your campaigns midway, which does no benefit for you. 
So this is where ideal daily budget comes in. So you can set a certain amount that you want to spend on each day. So rather than spending $900 at one go, you can add a cap of $30 each day. So that way you'll be spending $900 over 30 days. So step three is determining your default bid. So if you're new and if you're wondering what default bid is, this is the amount that you're gonna pay for one keyword that's gonna help your ad to rank. So every time you get a click on this keyword, you have to spend some amount of money and that's why it's also called CPC or cost per click. So if you're wondering what is the formula for determining CPC, Let's look at the formula. It's on the screen right now. Default bid is nothing but A cost into selling price into conversion rate. So assume you're selling a product on Amazon that costs $30 and the conversion rate is 10%. That means you have to get 10 clicks for that product to make one sale. So your A cost is 30%. So based on these parameters, the default bid will be 30% into $30 into 10%, which is 0.9 cents. So here you can expect to pay 9 cents. Uh, per keyword. So step four is considering your ROI or also known as return on investment. So of course the return on investment will also have a huge impact on your PPC budgeting. So I know it's really hard to predict your ROI but it can definitely be drawn from your business goals. So ROI is nothing but the profit that your business is earning and you have to take these profits and invest them in your PPC budgeting. So if you take too much of these profits and are focused on conversion and finding new customers by running PPC campaigns, you can decrease your ROI drastically. So it's really important for you to find a balance um, between your ROI and your um, expenditure when it comes to your PPC campaigns. So make sure that the balance is important and you're not eating out on your uh, profits and like, you know, affecting your ROI. So that is it for today's video, everyone. Before moving forward, let's have a quick recap of what we've learned today. So there are four steps that we suggest you um, take to determine your ad budget. The first one is identifying your ideal ACoS. Second, the duration of the ad that's going to take place while you start your PPC campaigns. Third is understanding the default bid. Fourth is understanding your ROI or return on investments and making sure that there's a balance between both. So yes, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to Seller App's ever-growing family. And if you want to be notified each time we publish a new video, make sure to click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified each time we post a new video and you do not miss out on everything important on Amazon. If you want to watch a specific video or is there anything else that you're struggling with, feel free to either sign up with Seller App or comment down below what you're struggling with and we will be happy, more than happy, to um, answer your query. I'm Ria Mittal and I will see you in the next video. Until the next time, happy selling.